When I was growing up, my main ambition was to be a concert pianist because I played the piano. I wanted to be, at that time, another Liberace. That was my dream until my children were born. And then it was be the best father that I could be. I was raised in the church. My mother was a minister. She one day had asked me, am I ready to take over? And I told her, no, that's your job. And ever since that day, I think I've decided to shoot off to the North Pole somewhere and just leave Christianity and Christ alone. I was living in a motel room and then it got to the point where I'm getting drugs every day, um, waiting until my check comes and then realize that I didn't spend more on drugs than I don't have no, no money for a motel room. Just sleeping in abandoned cars. It got to be kind of like a way of life. I guess after the relapses of constantly winding up on the street is the, at the point that I decided that I wanted to get clean. I didn't know anything about recovery until I came to Philadelphia. I've been getting high for close to 40 years. I went to a place called the Brotherhood Mission. I think that lasted about two years until, of course, I ran into a female. A female has kind of like been my downfall. I think I'm to that point where now that I am fed up with the, the same thing over and over, the same results of what happens when you get high. Like I'm 60 now, I could croak today, croak tomorrow, but it's not promised to me. The next time I get high could be the last time I get high. So it's a, it's a chance that I take when I walk out that door. It's a chance I take staying in this house. If I had the desire and drive that I, it takes to get high towards life itself, there's no telling where I could be right now. I'm trying to do the recovery process now by being by myself, but then again, I'm also my own worst enemy. I don't know what's gonna happen the next day. I know that when I get money, there's things that I need. So I know the drugs is not in the picture. I think that my recovery is gonna depend on me and just making the right choices. One day in the future, I would like to be able to be with my, my family, my grandkids, be Pat Pap or Pop Pop or whatever, and know that everything that I have, I've worked for, and that they're proud of me and I'm proud of myself. And once you realize that you're tired of doing the same thing over and over and over, getting the same results, not moving forward, knowing that there's a brighter future, a better life. And I know that, and that's what I'm working towards.